This is Harvey Milk, speaking from my camera store on the evening of Friday, November 18th. This is to be played only in the event of my death by assassination. I fully realize that um, a person uh, who stands for what I stand for, an activist, gay activist, becomes the target or the potential target for somebody who is insecure, terrified, afraid, or very disturbed themselves. Knowing that uh, I could be assassinated at any moment, at any time, I feel it's important that some people know my thoughts. Uh, and so, uh, following my thoughts, my wishes, my desires, whatever. And uh, I'd like to pass them on and have them played for the appropriate people. The first and most obvious and most concern is that if I was to be shot and killed, the mayor has the power, it's George Moscone, of appointing my successor on the Board of Supervisors. So I would like to have him know what my thoughts are. I have never considered myself a candidate. I have always considered myself part of a movement, part of a candidacy. I consider the movement the candidate. And I think that uh, I wish I had time to explain everything I did. Almost everything was done in the eyes of the gay movement. The other aspect of this tape is the obvious and is what should happen if there is an assassination and that is cannot prevent it from some people from getting angry and frustrated and mad, but I hope they would take that anger and frustration and madness instead of demonstrating or anything of that type. I would hope they take it to positive and I would hope five, ten, a hundred thousand would rise. I'd love to see every gay doctor come out. I'd love to see every gay lawyer, every gay judge, every gay bureaucrat, every gay architect come out. Stand up and let the world know that would do more to end prejudice overnight than anybody could ever imagine. Urge them to do that. Urge them to come out. It's only that way we start to achieve our rights. I hope there's no religious services, whatever, but God, first of all, I hope that there'll be no services of any kind whatsoever. I know some people are into that, and you can't prevent it from happening. They want to happen, but by God, nothing religious. I mean, until the churches break out and say, the Anita Bryans have been playing gymnastics with the Bible, until the churches which remain so quiet have the guts to get out and speak out in the name of Christianity or Judaism or whatever they profess, no services whatsoever. If anything, maybe just play that tape to Briggs and I, which is somewhere in the cabinet in the back, our cabinet. Just play that tape to Briggs and I over and over again so people know what an evil man he is. So people know what I have a is like. People know the seeds of hate come from so that people know what the future is going to bring. If you're not careful. And that's all I ask. That's all. I ask for a movement to continue, for a movement to grow, because Last week I got that phone call from Altoona, Pennsylvania. In my election 
gave somebody else one more person hope. And after all, that's what it's about. It's not about personal gain, not about ego, not about power. It's about giving those young people out there, now two of the Pennsylvania 